arena at this time is at 67% as compared to a long-term average of 81%. So we are still a bit below um, at that particular reservoir, which is our largest. The water level at the Karani Arena Dam has been a major concern for Wasa for some time. In early May, the levels were almost 30% behind the long-term average. Most recently in September, that gap stood at 28%, while all other reservoirs were less than 10% behind the long-term average. And although the gap for the Arena Dam has contracted, Wasa's CEO Alan Poonking says steps are in place to fill that reservoir in preparation for the dry season. Currently we are drawing water from the Karani River, um, so no, we, we, we don't uh, depend on, on the Arena Reservoir at this time. At this time we are filling it, so production is, is purely off of, of the runoff within, within the river itself. Currently, all other reservoirs are above their long-term average, with the Hollis Dam at 94% compared to an LTA of 78%. Navet is currently at 86% compared to an LTA of 81%, while the Hillsborough Reservoir in Tobago is at full capacity. Despite this, Mr. Poonking says there will be a rigid scheduling of water during the dry season. Based on the water that we do get um, from our reservoirs and our, our river intakes and so on, we will ensure that the regularity of the supply um, is as, as regular as we can with give, given the, the, the supply that we have available. Meanwhile, the Wasa CEO says there will be no change to the water use restrictions, at least until next year. I think we'll have intention between now and the end of the year to relax that because we still have not, as you had, had, had observed, the reservoirs have still not um, fully recovered. Mr. Poon King notes that all treatment plants had been at reduced production rates for an extended period of time, but they have been nearing maximum production recently following the recovery of the reservoirs. Sonolala, TTT News.